Welcome to another True Makers educational series made by makers for makers. Today we'll be talking about what components go into an automation system. Let's start by covering the anatomy of parts that form a typical automation system. Depending upon the application, an automation system may contain sensors to measure temperature, pressure, motor RPM, or push buttons to enable the operator to start or emergency override the system. The inputs will typically interface with a programmable logic controller, which is the brains of the operation containing the software and CPU to execute the automation task. The programmable logic controller is responsible for controlling outputs such as motor speed and direction, actuators, and a variety of other devices that would perform the automation task. The human machine interface provides the operator a portal for controlling the automation system and understanding whether it's running correctly. The human machine interface may include statistical data about the automation task and diagnostic information in the event an error is detected. An integrated automation system ties together islands of control into a complete production system. This may include a full line of automation and drive products such as control, networking, visualization, motion, and safety. Data transparency and communications covers IO blocks right up to the manufacturing execution system and integrated engineering tools covers device configuration and project management. In this example, the manufacturing execution system ensures that quality and efficiency are built into the manufacturing process and that it is systematically enforced. WinCC is a scalable tool for process visualization across the system with numerous high performance functions for monitoring automated processes. Profinet is an industrial data communications bus similar to Ethernet that enables tight timing constraints on communications between industrial devices such as PLCs and peripherals. Profibus is different from Profinet and it is a process field bus that is based on RS485 and is often run as the purple cable to connect PLCs with slave devices such as drives, motors, sensors, and I.O. blocks. The elements highlighted here include the programmable logic controller, motor drive, and human machine interface that constitute a standalone control system without the other blocks. These elements can run independently of any other network, ensuring the automation task is performed with precision and reliability. Integrated automation systems can be found in a multitude of applications, including automotive or mass manufacturing, oil and gas platforms, supply chain and logistics, just to name a few where system complexities demand a control architecture that is smart and resilient.